Alright guys, welcome back to the second part of building a portfolio website with Node.js. So in the last video, we just stopped in here where we created our routes, for example, for the about page or for the home page in here. For example, the home page, we have hello from the home page. On the about, we got hello from the about page. So we are actually going to start using some HTML pages instead of just these pieces of HTML, like these H1s that we have in here. So the first thing I will do is um, we actually need to install a template engine called uh, Handlebars. Okay, if you have never heard about it, don't worry. I'm just going to explain now. So you will do npm install HBS. So it's going to be called HBS. Okay. This is the handlebars template engines that we will use. Um, so what we need to do is when we install it, so we need to do npm install HBS. I'm just copy this code, just paste it in here. Okay. And this should install like in 10 seconds or something like that it should be very, very quick. And there it is. Okay. So HBS now is installed. If I go in here to my package.json, now I got in my dependencies, I got my express that I installed before, I got my nodemon that I installed before, and now I have my HBS, my handlebars template engine. So the next thing that we can do is, let me go back to the browser. They say that we need to set the app.set to use the view engine to be HBS, okay? So this is what we will do on our app just in here on the top. Then I also want to do something else. I want first of all to create a new folder and this folder is going to be called views. Okay. This folder really needs to have this name in order to work with our uh, handlebars template engine. So if you're going to give it another name right now is not going to work with this setup that we have in here. Maybe we can change, change this in the future, but right now it needs to be views. And inside, I'm just going to create a new file called index.hbs. Okay. So this one should be fine. Um, what else do we need? Now, inside of this index.hbs, I can actually create like a, a real page. So I'm going to put in here HTML5. I got this template already and I'm just going to put in here an H1 and it's going to say this is the home or this is the, yeah, this is the home page. Okay, I got this one. Now on my app, we have to do something different in here. When we do app.get and then we got the function. Now, instead of saying res.send, I could actually say in here res.render. And now I'm going to say what page I want to render. So I'm just going to put in here index. Okay. And I can even pass a second parameter in here, like an object, for example. I'm going to pass, for example, uh, in here a uh, title. And title is going to be home. Okay. Home. And then I'm going to pass something else. For example, my name. I'm going to put name. Okay. So now when we go to our home page, we should render the index that we just created in here, this index.hbs we should be able to pass this variable called title and we should be able to pass this variable called Telmo, a uh, name which is Telmo, okay? Obviously, in the end, I'm going to grab all of these from um, like a JSON file or something like uh, trying to replicate uh, a database like MongoDB, for example. But for now, we can have just these kind of uh, variables in here. So to grab, for example, this title in my index um hbs i could just go in here and say this is the okay and i just put title 
down here I could put an h2 and say my name is and I just put this like curly braces and I put name okay one thing is left in here to do and is actually creating our CSS files our JavaScript files and anything that we might need so for that we need to create as well another folder called uh, public for example inside of this folder public I'm just going to create another folder one for CSS I'm going to put all my CSS files there and also inside of public I'm going to create another folder for JavaScript so I'm going to put JS inside of my CSS I'm going to create a file called style.css okay at the moment I'm just going to put I want the body to be background color uh, blue okay this is just a test to make sure that everything is working now to grab this CSS and this JavaScript and connect it in here with our index.hps first we need to do something in here on our app.js and we need to set up our public folder to be to serve the static content okay so right now I'm gonna create a variable called const public directory path something like this and this is going to be equal to what to path dot join okay this path in here is coming from node.js so I actually need to import it in here on the top as well so I'm going to do const path equals to require path okay and what this is going to do is this variable that we just created called public directory is going to be equals to the path.join and what do we want to join we want to join this place where we are at the moment where are we at the moment in app.js so there is actually a variable from javascript in here called dir name and this dir name is going to give you the the file path to this where we are at the moment in app.js so this is going to be the first parameter that you need to pass in here in the dot join where we are at the moment and then the second one will be where do we want to go so where do we want to go I'm just going to put in here double uh, single quotes and now I'm going to say that I'm in here on app.js I need to go up one level so I need to do dot dot and then forward slash so if I go up one level I'm in here next to source and now what I want to do I want to go into public okay and now this should be my public directory path okay so we got the right path to go inside of this public to use our CSS and our JavaScript now to actually use this public directory I just have to do app.use and inside I'm going to do express dot static and what I'm going to pass inside is my public directory path okay so all these steps that we just did is to make sure that we can use our CSS and our JavaScript inside of these files that we just created at the top I'm just going to do a link for my CSS where do I want to link this from this is starting because we just set it up from before from the public so I need to put forward slash we are starting from the public I need to go inside of CSS folder and then I need to go into my style.css okay I got this one now if I go to the browser uh, let's start the browser first of all of course I'm just gonna press npm start we just covered how to set this up in the last video I'm going to my browser localhost 3000 I'm gonna refresh and look what I get I got this is the title page and my name okay so these variables actually didn't pass well let's see what's wrong with this let's go in here to Visual Studio Code let's go in here ah and I see the problem that it was 
you don't just pass one curly braces, okay? You need to pass two, I think. So we need to go in here, pass two. Okay, now, if we refresh the page, look, now I got in here at the top, let me do some zoom. This is the home page, my name is Telmo, and we got the background that is blue, okay? So all of this stuff is working fine. Now the next step will actually be really starting building the website. So we got all these steps to do, like to connect everything, to do the views. Um, so yeah, th that's it for this video. In the next one, we're gonna actually start building the website. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one.